For more, let's bring in sports broadcaster and tennis legend Patrick McEnroe for more on this. Patrick, it's so good to have you this morning. How are you? I'm doing well, Marky. Thanks for having me. Thanks for calling me a legend, by the way. Maybe in my own <laughs> mind, but that's about it. <laughs> I had to. I had to. I so appreciate your time, and I got a lot of things to pick your brain on, sir. Uh, I don't know if you're a betting man, but what say you on whether or not we see him compete and make the cut this weekend? Well, we know betting is sort of taking over sports, Marky, just in yeah. general in the last couple of years. And by the way, I hope, hope we're going to talk about the women's basketball tournament, too, because of record numbers there, betting affected there. But when you talk about golf, of course, with the Masters coming up, and as you said, you're 100% right, Marky. When Tiger Woods takes the course, the buzz is back when it comes to watching golf. I love golf. I wouldn't say I'm a hardcore golf fan, but if Tiger's playing... I'm watching. So I think the hope, Marky, realistically, let's be realistic now. Uh, can he win the tournament? Uh, highly unlikely. He's 10,000 to one, by the way, on the odds. And this is the first time in some years that I can remember that there's a clear definitive favorite. That's Scotty Scheffler, the number one player in the world. And he's far and yeah. away ahead in the odds department. I think what we can hope for, as you mentioned, Marky, is that Tiger Woods can make the cut, can break that record of 24 consecutive cuts made at the Masters. That would create a lot of buzz going into the weekend. But of course, the X factor, the biggest question, as Xavier noted, because of yet another surgery that Tiger had a year ago, is can the body not so much handle the golf part of what he needs to do, but handle the walking, particularly at Augusta, yeah. Very hilly up and down those hills. And it seems like he's doing that better, right? Walking, yeah. which would be paramount for, for walking the 18 holes. I'm curious, you know, you know a thing or two about competing at the highest levels. What's really going through Tiger's mind, you know, whether or not he's going to enter the Masters and, and, uh, and his mindset for play this weekend? I, I believe that he's definitely going to enter and play. He wouldn't be there if he wasn't gonna, if planning on giving it a shot, Mark. It reminds me a little bit of Rafael Nadal in tennis, who can, continues to try to come back and play. But here's the thing. Tiger knows that it's, it's how his body can recover. He could probably play a pretty decent round or two, but can he make it to that third, fourth day and play four consecutive rounds? He's only done that twice in the last couple of years since that horrific car accident, and yeah. both times he finished barely inside the top 50 at the end of the tournament. So that's why I say realistically, it's a long shot for him to actually be in contention uh, by Sunday, by Saturday, Sunday. But if he can make the cut and be in it, there's going to be a lot more eyeballs watching the Masters. There's no doubt about that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.